Do you know what is worse than having no cybersecurity certifications? Having the wrong ones. Yes. See, over the years, many beginners in cybersecurity have been led to believe that one of the worst things that could happen to their career is having no certification at all. I'm not one of those people. I don't believe that. But that is not true. I've seen people start successful careers without any certifications. But pursuing the wrong certifications costs you a lot more than just money. It costs you time, costs you opportunities, and sometimes, even your confidence. So today, I'm exposing the five deadliest certification mistakes that I see over and over again. Mistakes that silently sabotage careers before they even start. If you're trying to break into cybersecurity or level up your existing career, this might be the most important video you watch this year. I've been a cybersecurity expert and career coach for close to a decade now, and personally, I've helped dozens of professionals land six-figure cybersecurity roles. So I know exactly what works and what doesn't in today's hiring landscape. In this video, I'm going to review why most certification advice is completely backward. The real reason certified professionals still get rejected. I will share that. I will also let you know the exact certification strategy that actually works in 2025. So if you're serious about a cybersecurity career, hit that subscribe button and notification bell right now. Why? Because I drop insightful videos like this twice a week. Trust me, you don't want to miss them. So, I heard a certification story recently, and while it's quite funny, there's a lot to learn from it, okay? Let's say the name of the guy in this story is Josh. He has a computer science degree, a very smart guy, very smart dude, and last year he decided to break into cybersecurity. So, what did Josh do? He did what the majority of beginners do. He researched the highest paying certifications and he saw CISSP at the top of the list with an average salary of $150,000. Now, without thinking twice, he invested $1,200 in study materials, practice exams, and the exam fee. And then, of course, four months of his life studying nights and weekends. Exam day comes around, he sits down, starts answering questions, and quickly realizes something is terribly wrong. The scenarios are asking about management decisions is never faced. Policy questions he can't relate to. Risk assessment is never performed. As you probably guessed, yes, he failed. Not because he wasn't smart enough, no, but because CICSP requires five years of professional experience in at least two security domains. Josh had none. But do you know that even if he had somehow passed, it would only have been an associate of ISC2, not a full CISSP. Employers know this distinction and it screams, I don't understand how the industry works or I don't understand how this works yet. So Josh spent $1,200 and four months of his life for absolutely nothing. His confidence was shattered. And the worst part is, I've seen this exact scenario play out over and over again. I see really talented people making the same mistakes. Why? Because they don't know better. And what they find online only adds to their confusion. So the first mistake we need to talk about is climbing the certification ladder from the middle instead of the bottom. You see, you need to think of cybersecurity certifications like a building, all right? You need foundation before you build the second floor. And you need the second floor before the penthouse, isn't it? Cool. Now, bearing this example in mind, your foundational certifications will be the likes of CompTIA A+, and Network+, Plus. while for your ground floor, we're talking Security+, Plus and GSEC. Then as you progress, it makes more sense to aim for certifications like CISA+, Plus and SSCP, then eventually the top guns like CISSP. But you will be shocked to know that most beginners, they try to jump straight to Penthouse. Now, let me be clear, this does not work. Not only will you waste money on failed exams, but even if you somehow pass, employers will immediately spot your lack of foundational knowledge during interviews. So, I think the question is, why do beginners make these mistakes? Now, I think it's because they're focusing on salary data without understanding context. Yes, it is true. People with CISSP certification, they often make around $200,000 and even more. But just having the certification isn't what causes a high salary. These professionals make good money because 
they have both years of experience and they have certification not just because they passed an exam okay so here's my advice to you start with foundations master the basics then climb steadily this alone will put you ahead of 80 percent of your competition next is mistake number two this is certification without application or what i call all certifications no real skills see this is when people collect certifications like it's some kind of trophy without ever applying the knowledge in real world scenarios now let me explain with an example imagine you want to become a chef you read 50 cookbooks cover to cover you memorize every recipe every technique every ingredient you know you pass a written test with flying colors but you've never actually cooked anything now would you hire this person to run your restaurant of course not no why because the person has not done it but this is exactly what happens in cyber security people spend thousands on certifications but never build anything break anything or even defend anything and most certification guides won't tell you this they won't employers don't actually care about your certifications they care about what you can do the certification may get you past the hr filter but the interview will test whether you can apply what you've learned i remember the interview that led to my first cyber security job i didn't have a certification then but from what i showed them on my home lab they knew i wasn't just all talk so what's the solution you need here what do you do this is what i think you should do for every certification you pursue you need to build a parallel track of practical application say for instance you're studying security plus right set up a home lab with virtual box and then practice configuring firewalls and if it is ceh that you're working on create account on try hack me or hack the box and then complete at least 20 challenges and if you've gone far enough in your career to pursue cissp join open source security projects to apply governance concept in real situations always remember that the certification gets you the interview the practical experience gets you the job so it means you need both now let's talk about mistake number three that i mentioned earlier this is certification misalignment okay listen there are three distinct career tracks in cyber security number one is the technical specialist track where we have roles like penetration testers and security engineers number two is the management track with roles like security directors and CISOs while number three is the risk slash compliance track which has roles like risk analysts, auditors and the likes. Each of these tracks requires completely different certifications. Still, I consistently see beginners collecting random certifications from all three tracks which create a confusing and even contradictory professional profile. So if you want to be a penetration tester, you know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical and focused on real action. It's called the five day cyber security job challenge. This isn't just content you binge and forget. We're talking hands on learning, real skills and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video? Thought I'm going to do something about that and then didn't. That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support, okay? We're not just learning, you're giving task, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, Come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. Why are you getting a CISM, which is for managers? If you're aiming for a CISO position, why focus on the highly technical OSCP? If compliance is your goal, why are you investing time in learning advanced exploitation techniques? 
You see, this shotgun approach not only wastes your resources, but actually confuses potential employers about your career direction. Just last week, a director of talent acquisition at a major security firm told me about a candidate with CISSP, OSCP, and CISAC certifications. Now, instead of being impressed, their first question was, this person doesn't seem to know what they want to do. Are they technical, management, or compliance? We can't tell. See, the candidate didn't get the job. He didn't, unfortunately. So what's the best way to go about this? First, decide which track you want to pursue. Then, select the certifications that form a coherent story about your professional direction. If it's technical track, start with CompTIA, then Security Blue Team, then OSCP. For management track, begin with Security Plus, then SSCP, and then CISSP. And if the compliance track appeals more to you, Security Plus first, then CISA, then C-Risk. All of this boils down to one thing. Pick a lane and become exceptional in it. Now let's move on to mistake number four. This is ignoring prerequisites and wasting resources. See, many certifications have specific experience requirements that can't be bypassed. CISSP needs five years experience or four years if you have a degree. CISM requires five years of experience while OSCP demands that you have a strong technical foundation. Attempting these three certifications without meeting prerequisites does not just waste money, it also creates a damaging pattern of failure that can be psychologically devastating to you and your career. So before pursuing any certification at all, any certification at all, and I mean any, you need to research the prerequisite thoroughly, okay? Check the experience requirements, recommended prior certifications, and the typical pass rates. Do you understand? Cool. Now, let's talk about the last mistake which is mistake number five. And this is financial mismanagement. See, those who have been there will tell you, certifications are expensive. As I speak to you, CISSP costs around $749. Plus study materials. CEH is between $950 to $1,199. And OSCP can cost you anywhere between $900 to $2,500 with lab time. Okay, look, before investing in any certification, check if your employer offers certification reimbursement. According to ISC, about 40% of employers will cover this cost. Okay, also look for free resources. ISC certified in cybersecurity program, they offer free training. Okay, try Hackme as free rooms for practical skills, and then GitHub Security Lab will provide you free security training. See, the fact is, being strategic about where you spend your certification dollars is just as important as which certification you pursue. Do you understand? Now, let me break down exactly what you need to do to avoid these mistakes and then actually get hired in cybersecurity. Are you ready? First, pick your path, technical, management, or compliance. This single decision will save you thousands of dollars and countless hours of unnecessary stress. After that, Follow the straightforward roadmap. Start with foundations. Get one entry level SAT like Security Plus while you're building a simple home lab. Then complete 20 Anton challenges on platforms like Try Hack Me, okay? Hack the box. And while you're doing that, don't forget to document everything you learn. The next thing you do, build proof. Create one impressive security project aligned with your chosen path, okay? You need to contribute to open source security tools or participate in capture the flag competitions, and then network with professionals that are already doing what you want to do. And finally, position yourself as a specialist, not a generalist. Your resume, LinkedIn, and your portfolio should tell a coherent story about your specific security direction. The secret that separates those who get hired from those who don't is not collecting certifications. It's consistently applying what you learn and building evidence of your skills. One hour of daily practice for six months will transform your career more than any certification ever could. Okay, now, let me tell you something that is very important for every beginner to know. The cybersecurity professionals who make the real impact, the ones who get the jobs, earn the promotions, command high salaries, they are not the ones with the most letters after their names. You know what I mean by that? They're not the ones. 
okay? They are the ones who can actually protect systems when attacks happen, who can think critically when facing unknown threats, or who can translate complex security concepts into solutions that work in real world. The industry is drowning in certified professionals who can perform under pressure. What is desperately needs are security practitioners who have put in the work to develop genuine skills. So I'm challenging you right now. Yes, you, be different. Don't just collect certifications. Build real capabilities. Don't chase paper credentials. Chase practical mastery. Trust me, it's going to be so helpful. Don't try to impress with quantity. Focus on quality. If you follow these steps that I've shared with you, you won't just have a cyber security job. You will have a cyber security career that makes a genuine difference in a world that desperately needs real security expertise. Now, if this approach resonates with you, please hit that subscribe button for more security career advice. Okay? Drop a comment with your biggest certification challenge and I'll personally respond to as many as I can. And in my usual manner, I hope I'm leaving you better than I met you today. Until next time, keep winning. I will see you in the next one. Bye. For